24, which is a QWC question, I'll put that in there, um, which means it's testing the quality of our written communication. Uh, we're told that M equals root S over T, where S is 3.47 to two decimal places and T is 8.312 to three decimal places. By considering bounds, work out the value of M to a suitable degree of accuracy and we must show all our workings and give a reason for our final answer. Okay, so let's have a look at S. When, now when it's talking about bounds, um, we're discussing the idea that it was rounded. So it was rounded to uh, 3.47, and that was rounded correct to two decimal places, which means it could have been as high as 3.47, um, uh, Four seven four nine 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 nine, etc., which is essentially um, three point four seven five. That's how high it could have been, and um, technically you might think three point four seven four nine 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 nine, and that just keeps on going. It's effectively three point four seven five. This guy down here, it could have been as low as three point four six. Five. That's what S could have been. Let's take a look at T. So T was also rounded, but it was rounded to three decimal places, and that was 8.132. That means the absolute maximum it could have been would have been 8.1324999999999. Which is essentially 8.1325, and the lowest value it could have been is 8.1315. Let's see what happens when we work out M using the lower bounds. So, when we use the lowest bound, we get not equals. Anyway, uh, when we're using the lower bounds, that's the smallest value it could have been for each one, we're going to get the square root of 3.465 over 8.1315. So, uh, square root. 3.465 over 8.1315, which is 0 0.2289, 0 0.2289, let's write the whole thing down, 89, uh, one eight five three two five one eight five three two five one eight five three two five. So if I use the absolutely lowest value it could have been, that's what I get. Now let's do it using the upper bounds. Same idea again, um, except we're going to use these values here. So point three four seven or three point four seven five over eight point one three two five three two five so I'm just gonna go back and change these uh, change that to a seven five and then down the bottom to a Two five, and when we do this, point two two nine two two zero four three five one. And not point two two nine two two zero four three five one four three five one. So if we look at um, if we look at our two answers, um, 
I'm going to give an answer of 0.229. The reason why is because if I round this to three decimal places and I round this to three decimal places, I get the same answer. So an answer of 0.229. Three D P as it satisf satisfies both upper bound and lower bound. So if I use the upper bound and I give it to three decimal places, I get point two two nine. If I use the lower bounds and I give it to three decimal places, I also get point two two nine. So that's what I'm going to choose.